Okay, so we are back yeah. once again, once again. So last year, yeah, we did we. Ah, then, when a WhatsApp group, we we get messages. Yo, I did Nigeria. Oh. On the normal, we we are on a man. They, 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 you understand? <laughs> so mostly, what he does is when he tells us he's in, he, like when he tells us, oh, I'm in a place, then probably means. There is somebody out there that is about to ask either me or any of the boys his whereabouts. So perhaps he might be there or he might not be there. So once they send a message across like that, then it means Obia Bisaya bro day on this side. You understand? But this time around, it was actually true. <laughs> like it day, it day Niger. And I mean, as usual, like, oh, you get as much as content, you know, get as much as videos. Because when you come here, obviously, you're going to explain to us. Then I'm like, okay, hold on to your story. Let me put you on and then share your story with us. On just us. So if you see me once again, he's here to give us, you know, story time of how things went down in Nigeria. I wouldn't ask you how we started. I would ask you from when you sent the message. <laughs> So the uh, group chat, you um, are in Nigeria. Well, the mess, the message said, "No, it not be you are in Nigeria." I think you the, were the there message already. was like, "Chala, they go Nigeria, come." But then you were already dead. Yeah, yeah. But then everybody was like, "Ah, just like that." You understand? Wait, I mean, just as much as surprising as it was to you guys, it was to I mean those of us who went as well. So be like today, like Monday morning, we day here in our call come. Um, I need maybe like three or four production guys on this job in Nigeria Friday. Wow. So impromptu. So we had like literally that day to make a decision if we we're going to go or not. And then we were like, okay, cool. We are going to go, but by flight. Mm. <laughs> then, because I mean, we've had stories of the road. Mm. So, but then impromptu traveling by flight within africa the money then they take self bonds pass when i pay and pay we wow yeah because we had be, it was just like four days interval so that four days interval if they won't book flights to nigeria and back it was around six hundred dollars yeah and then as i'm talking to you flight tickets from uk to um um i can't say spain be 30 euros 30 euros. We deal on a different side of my man. But Ghana to Niger here now, six hundred dollars. So most of the times you hear people online saying Charlie traveling within Africa the cost, blah blah blah. Yeah. It's true. Because even Ghana to Togo be like two hundred dollars. Togo oh. I, uh, by flight. So that was how impromptu it was and it was a surprise to all of us. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> It was a surprise to all of us. In case you're wondering why he was laughing, uh, our director was actually sleeping, so I was trying to get a snap <laughs> off him. But I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, oh, so, so, right. <laughs> <You're child dada. laughs> so, so I mean that's how impromptu it was, and then we ended up going not by flight but by road. Wow. Because I mean the money that they take it was more than one piece. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. How's the journey like? You see, I beka sa wuna wetu kwa inda. Bro, how was it like? The journey, huh? So first of all, you before you travel outside the country, I mean, the usual you need your passport. I mean, if it's within Africa or West Africa or within the Ecowas states, yeah. you will need your passport or your Ghana card. Mm. Yeah. So the transport company they circle, you go there, they'll take your passports, do your booking, everything. So you go by bus and then each person from Accra, I mean from Circle to Lagos is mm. 700 cities. Wow. Yeah. So the 700 cities, we were actually going to Abuja. So Lagos to, I mean Circle to Lagos would be like 12 hours journey. And then from Lagos, I mean, Circle to Lagos, 12 hours. Then from Lagos to Abuja be like extra 20 hours journey. 20? 20. Wait, depending from, on the, the driver's speed. From from Lagos to Abuja. From Lagos to Abuja is that far. Hey. Like 
I never see country in big like that. From before. from from Ghana to from Lagos. Ghana from Mexico to Lagos be thirteen hours. Thirteen hours. From mm-hmm. Lagos alone to Abuja be like twenty hours. That's literally like a whole day. Hey, we spent like almost forty hours on the road. Then. Well, I understand why most Nigerians, you know, even though I've never been there before, from what I hear, and I now understand why they they do more interflight travel. Yeah. yeah. So you pay. I um, mean, Accra to Circle to Lagos, 700 cities, then Lagos to um, Abuja, 800 cities. That's Ooh. in cities. But then in Naira, be like plenty. So, I mean, the journey from Circle to the Togo border, you know, you go through Togo, you go through Benin before you enter Nigeria. That's, so, you, you, you do cross two countries. Two countries, and then all those countries you but need. But yes, so we call these people our neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you need you need to get visa for all those countries. So, the transport company normally what they do is that they have if you get the proper transport companies, they have agents at the border. That when you get the, you don't have to get down and go through the whole process. Mm-hmm. They would take your passport and then do everything for you. So all you have to do is just be there. They'll do everything, bring it back to you, and it's part of your your transport fare. From right from Accra. Right from Accra. Mm-hmm. So. Normally, there are some payments, you, you settlements you need to settle at the border. That one, whether you be president in Kidi, whether you be whoever, you go pay. So, so if the, trans, the transport company incorporates that into your fare, then when you get there, the, the agents will take care of it. Hmm. Then you there, you go, they cool. They finish, they bring you back your passport, you move. That'd be how simple it'd be. But if you're not going with the public transport, that do all that, that is where you'll be in trouble. Because hmm. then everybody will be asked to drop down you go through the immigration one by one and then think so if if it's like a 50 40 60 seater bus everybody will drop everybody you will drop they will check either you have your ghana card or you have a passport then you go through the immigration if settlement are you could set so i think the togolese border is like thousands if i also thousand or thousand something almost two thousand you know you know pay uh, there's a runabout there you're not if you if you won't pay, they'll ask you to turn and go back to your country. If you like go and call an ad, is, yeah. is it because you're not going into the country? I, I I don't I want to understand this. I'm going to Nigeria. Mm-hmm. I get to the to, to go this border mm-hmm. and then have to pay thousand six mm-hmm. thousand six mm-hmm. just for crossing or like I don't know. So does that mean if you're going to Togo the country itself, mm-hmm. there's a different amount you have to pay? Not necessarily. A thing is, <laughs> nobody actually knows, but then they are there to ensure your passage through to their country. But then they are not give uh, uh, <laughs> checkpoint uh-huh. border. Mm-hmm. They check you. Yeah. You pay. Yeah. You move. Yeah. No security along the line. Let Let's just say, okay, well, each person has paid thousand sifa. Mm-hmm. That's huge. That's huge. And then perhaps we are giving you an escort. Me, no, nothing. You pay, and then you know before the funny. Once you pay, and you move your bus right out of the border. You're on your own. The funny, you're on your, you're on your own. The funny thing is, you know, like before, let's say I'm in Ghana. I want to go to Togo. Before you get to the border, there's a Ghanaian border mm-hmm. that is full of Ghanaian soldiers. Mm. Then when you cross that border, there's now the Ghana Togo border mm. that has both country immigration soldiers. Mm-hmm. Then after crossing that, they have the Togolese border. That has just the Togolese. So you are crossing like three borders wow. in one. And all the three or if we settle. They will tell you, say, if you no one settle, go back, go pick flight. Because flight, they don't pay anybody. And obviously, flight is expensive. Yeah. So no matter who you are, you pay. And if you don't want to pay, the moment is you'll be like you want to negotiate then go waste your time in as much as you want to negotiate don't waste your time so if you day in a hurry you just go settle then you move on if you don't want to settle the runabout there now you turn you go back wow that'd be how this, this is just for crossing the first country yeah for crossing the first country and that's the same thing that the togolese people when you get to the, the Ghanaian border mm. then they i mean they know we i mean i mean obviously talking small small that side you go free escape their settlement mm. But the Ghana Togo border, the Ghanaians over there, they are cool. The Togolese, they are not cool. 
So if you did, you did. Do you think, do you think the, the language barrier also is a problem? They're not get hurt. The Francophone people, yeah, they're not get hurt. Togolese people said they're good. Benin, worse. Ha! So you cross Ghana immigration, you enter Togo. The actual Togo border, that one, fortunately for us, I mean, the transport company had agents there. So you reach the border now, the agents will come sit your car inside. Then would they do all the settlement, then you will move. But we, we, ha- we had to experience some other people that were on her. Jai, jai, jai. You know, go, where if you're in a bus, cool. But if you did, let's say you did Ghana, you did carry Ghana car, enter to go, hey, your mother there, young car. Mm. But you want to say they will scout the car, but then for set so big, if you know go fit, wow. turn back and go. That be the rule. No negotiation. If you know go fit, pay, turn back and go. If you do like you negotiate, then go waste your time. So for for the for the Nigerian that is crossing <laughs> with a scar, yeah. So I don't know how they treat people from their country. I don't know how the Ghanaians treat their people, but that's how they treat our people. Mm-hmm. Just because you are from your country and think their country, and then I mean Togo, the Togo border is like let's say out of a hundred percent, they are like seventy percent okay, but the Benin huh, like twenty percent. Mm. You know they, you know they, you know they hear black. You know they hear anything. You they speak in country language. You they, yeah, he will shout on you. Hey, pay, pay, pay this now. You know if you enter. But that one, if you don't get anybody, any agents for there, hey, they will stress you. Mm. So that one, just for J the money, can't give them. They will let. They will just going to sort through that. Sort sir. So I watched the video Zion Felix. <laughs> he say he they go Nigeria. He pay, pay, pay sir. He reach Nigeria with another money finish. Wait ten, wait ten, come back to Ghana. Interesting. Charlie. Stress. So finally, you've crossed the two bodies. You are in Nigeria. Yeah. And as, as he said earlier, you're supposed to get to. You're supposed to get to Abuja. So we got to Lagos. And then there's this funny thing. After crossing Benin, you no, know, like approaching, passing through Benin to Nigeria border. Benin, I mean, the city of Benin is in the evening is nice because mm. there are motorbikes all over. So mm. the different, different lines, they make it a B. At least from the car inside with day, you know, then it'd be. Then, well, that was around 2 a.m. thereabouts. So we left Circle around 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So we drove throughout the night. So around 2 a.m., we got to the Nigeria border. So after seeing the Benin lights all around, I mean, the motor, everything nice, then all of a sudden we were in a dark place. So everybody was wondering, ah, what's going on? Like, then the driver alerted us that now we've entered Nigeria and like from the border to like Lagos, no lights. Cool. That'd be like some two hours journey. Is it? Is it? Is it that there then there are people living there? People day but no light. That was when we were like, oh okay, we did Niger. I mean, you know that their, their, their situation. Cool. So we'll be like, let's say if they come up from like from Tadi Kamakra, then no light. So what? We we light the people they use for the checkpoints. You will see I beat them there then get generator. So okay, okay. Hey, they they bother there then get generator. So lights they there they do the checking everything we move. That time people bed. So I tell you what see Charlie we did some deserted place, lights in New Hall, you know we see human being. I check the time, two AM. See ah, what we did. So I open Google Map I say, okay, we enter Nigeria. Please be dark. So people to know that they basically say, ah, where are we, where are we? Where did the talk talk say, oh, we enter Nigeria oh. before people were like, oh, okay, okay, then, I mean, they were light situation. So we, we enter Lagos, they go, the, the station there, before we started to see lights, lights, mm-hmm. they come, people, they around, and that's like around 3 a.m. So we reach the Lagos, the... Not to cut it, but then probably uh, we will say those area is more like the rural area, so... Mm-hmm. If well, no yeah, lights, it, yeah, it might be quite it might, understand, yeah. understandable. We we can cut them some slack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. So it's morning time. You're still on your journey. Yeah. Right? So three a.m. We got to the um, station where the bus will drop us off. Then we will have to pick another ride to Abuja. Mm. So we got at three a.m. Normally the Abuja car comes around seven. So we got at three a.m. Everybody offloaded their stuff. Everybody they go Lagos. They left. We will really continue with first oh, okay. So it wasn't a chartered bus. It was a chartered bus, but other people joined. Okay. Yeah, cause I mean we know we know we know full up the car, so they mm-hmm. made other people join. So they pull them go, then they go Lagos, and then drop with them, then left. And we will really go Abuja, different car, or can pick with seven. So you, you, 
you couldn't continue with your own bus no no no. we had to get a different car so okay. we reached that three and everybody upload then they say oh look you enter the station and get off some office for them make go drop on a things and try relax more 7 a.m car will come then we move but Charlie, we did different country we did mm. i mean the rumors we've heard nobody feel bad i mean we were the, the chairs the guests they sleep on then long long metal uh, plenty day where you go we just sleep for but uh, we all we day a week uh, we day break where the ride come i mean 7 a.m prepare we move so the journey from lagos to abuja the 20 hour journey hey Charlie, i sit car inside that tire like wait 20 cool hours and then it's not like you are driving through adding adding a 13 bro it's not like you are driving through like let's say cities where you could see stuff bush yeah. after leaving lagos bush so you could see maybe one or two villages for the road we one thing and tell the driver we say then get like signals where if police i mean different different a lot of checkpoints in the road but then they get signal where if the person the police are you the driver you can know whoever show whoever doesn't show that signal the person of the police if for move for no stop that we want the third driver so we did the right inside door because i say normally the robberies they happen for the lagos abuja road because mm. that that road be like bush not seen day but is, is the road good the road be good it be only i think uh out of the 20 hours let's say maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes roadway you know mm-hmm. good but aside that the road be good i mean it dims are so then rural villages way in you on them then the road be a little bit but then the main road there the dim i have quite no wow the country big that be like they're like from lagos to abuja you know abuja be like the capital city so there's abuja there's i no cry here like let's say if if it did ghana abuja be like tamale abuja did the top there so coming to we with their crowd across her court then the lucky them no them then did the the the, uh, the south where the beach day mm. that's from abuja to like port harcourt be extra eight hours like you did more any any journey for nigeria be like the least be like six hours wow you did travel hey, the country guy big so we had a couple of not a couple of a lot of stops yeah, some of the wear uniform some of the wear uniform but then so far all the signals then give the driver it was all right mm-hmm. we didn't have any bad signal way before drive off so mm-hmm. we reached so we left uh lagos around 7 a.m we reached abuja the following evening like six wow okay so that was said we reached we reached the Easy like say maybe from thirty they come uh, you go reach Kaswa before you go reach Accra. Yeah. So we reached like Kaswa of Abuja no traffic. So it took us like extra two hours to get to like Abuja and Kasa Kasa. Yeah, we reached there down for drop on our things then a different car for come pick we transport we go to the hotel, wow. we go bed. We reach the hotel, see everybody we just go four bed top by everybody sleep. Crazy. How would you describe um Lagos in one word. <laughs> My description of Lagos will come at the ending when we were coming back. Like something happened. Ooh, okay, okay. So we'll get there. <laughs> okay. So finally you get to Abuja, right? So we get to Abuja, we checked in our hotel. One one positive thing is that they checked us in one of the biggest hotels in Abuja. That's mm. Abuja Continental Hotel. Like very, very big with foreigners. So Wait. the program was like um it was an intercontinental program that had people from different countries repping so it was like a week so we go there i mean we met we met a lot of people nigerians angola and Ang- go how do you call them I don't know. angolans and go people, 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 people from met angola people from, people from angola. <laughs> namibians south africans mm. even i mean people from the western world plenty plenty people and mm. one one i mean one good thing is it was like a three star, three star, four star ish hotel. So you wake up, there's breakfast, buffet, mm. there's lunch buffet, there's supper buffet. So food was not a problem. I didn't even spend one CD mm. throughout my whole stay because there's always food, there's always, I mean, snacks. To, yeah. There's always something to eat. So, and then one, <laughs> okay, next question. Did you, uh, I mean, aside work, 
did you get a chance to experience the eternity of say go out to have you know a time it was just a time I mean, night of your own it was just one or two times where it wasn't really on our schedule but we forced to go out because okay. normally when we got there we got there like thursday evening friday now with a job so friday we job saturday we job sunday we job monday something happened right the people nigerians were in, in, uh, in charge of the program so then for print id cards to give every country mm. every day then the country they do activities that uh, that day Ooh, okay so friday had a different country saturday different country so monday was like Ghanaians. then the people who were in charge of printing the Ghanaian people them are id cards you no know? it prints some you know print all so i think you're supposed to be like 100 pieces of cards and then they printed like 20. So the people then come or plenty of people not get card. Well, if you not get card, so you know if you enter, cause um, that time they were president. Uh, that time nothing even not come on. Um, so it was Bakuno, Buhari. Buhari, yeah. he was there. So security was very tight. If you not get a card, you not go enter. So it became an issue. People were protesting, Ghanaian, blah blah blah. So they had to go back and go and print the cards for the Ghanaians, which obviously we took the day off. Mm. So they were moved to the next day. So that day when we took off, we were like, okay, then if so, yeah, I make we try pass down. And then people were like, oh, Abuja, dear, in the Freedom Town, you go feed, do whatever you want. Unlike Lagos, where if you the if you the go, like let's say you the house, you have to trade carefully. Yeah, where if anywhere you for go, you want, for carry your passport, because if you tell, let's say Lagos, police will stop you. One thing, then tell we say. If like you did Lagos, if like we did a program for Lagos, that if you're not walking around with your smartphone or laptop, cause then your yeah, whole things to do, then we just stop you, search you for no reason. And if they stop you, search you, your passport's not there, your body then go see say you be Ghanaian and are trouble for you. Really? And they carry you go. Go and go uh 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 over the word. This word. And they go you know, you know, interview. If you did prisoner, that room then will work with you. Is it still? Or counterback. So or counterback, but then go sit you down then interrogation. Interrogation. Or carry you somewhere, go interrogate you. So if your passport's not there or nothing there, you go proof say be Ghanaian, yeah. No. So then say, oh if you did Lagos, that's it, then you did, but then Abuja be like on many ABA, so you don't need those things. So we go if you go anywhere we don't want. So we just go uh, some I think some I forget the name, some restaurants. It'd be like pub, then mm-hmm. restaurants. Mm-hmm. I mean chilling that thing. So we go buy so that was where I got to know about Amala, then I mean the my food. Uh, did you Amala get a chance to eat the famous Nigerian chili? Ah, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Nigerian jollof. First of all, you know, <laughs> I had it like four times. Wow. Then we reached the restaurant there. The Nigerians who were there, they were like, oh, you need to try out jollof. Nigerian jollof. I mean, obviously, that conversation yeah. in Ghana and Nigeria was an argument. So we we're like, okay, cool. We'll try your jollof. Then we tried it at the rest at the hotel. It was bomb. Like, hey, bomb, first of all, bomb as in fire, like flame. No, it was hell. It was terrible. It was no, it was disgusting. First of all, we had <laughs> Nigerian jollof in the car. The car we took from Circle to Lagos. Mm. If you pay, yeah, throw them on, throw them water them on. So we we, we figured Charlie's on watchy or some nice Nigerian jollof with some meat. Be the jollof first of all, it come then jollof be like this color self they be jollof be like <laughs> be like rice then stew with them make some Charlie. Mm. So funny enough, it didn't look good. So we were like, oh maybe it will taste good. See the as well as the kinds. So everybody tear one pet. We everybody dog the two. Crazy. The two be yeah. Yeah. So we told them that, oh, you put we chop your, your jollof for one kind inside. See, nobody chop. They're like, oh, we should try the hotel. We tried the hotel. Terrible. See, see. They're like, oh, maybe the hotel no good. Maybe we'll go try for different spots. That was where we went. Try. Terrible. See, see. They're like, okay, now make we try homemade. We tried homemade. I don't put the. Ah. But one thing I'll give kudos to is their meat. Then they season them and meat well. Pam, mm. pepper, points. They were meat there on points. But. Jollof, kai, kai jollof. Nigeria jollof is terrible. <laughs> so, that's like about the food. Yeah. Then the 
they have their indomie uh, actually but I, but I i heard the indomie really be pop okay oh, it'd be like maybe i don't know what's the best what's the best food you enjoyed in nigeria the thing is the <laughs> the best food i actually enjoyed be what it be yam yam yeah yam and then uh first of all the hotel the okay let me say the breakfast the breakfast buffet be what's me not the chop pan of course the other children they chop pan for their be amala amala be like two zavi for ghana i know they chop two zavi for ghana so it'll be like the same thing i know they chop i know they ma okay they ma eba too they but they go to they go on so that be what people not go the chop wa for the hotel aside that the breakfast i mean no more toasted bread egg I mean tea and things, then fruits, sausages, like correct buffet breakfast. So that be what's now the chop wa mm. then comes the lunch. The lunch I'm gonna have like a few yam yam one, maybe two, three be then some stew be there, that stew meat so in the inside. I would see a bunch. So that meat I would chop then sati, you know be because mm. yeah. them are indomie. The way them funny enough. The Nigerians, they have this kind of smell. Really? That, yeah. Like, within them, it'd be okay for them. But if you're a foreigner, you, have, you go smell and then it wasn't really a pleasant Isn't smell. Food? No, like, with the, the body odor. Mm. They have to have them. If you they work for Lagos or Abuja, or let me say Nigeria, then we'll not say you know be Nigerian. Because they are more traditional and they wear them are mm. them are cabastilates. The boys to the wear them are kaftan, them are like hausa. That be why I go learn say Nigeria be like hausa country. Yeah, actually. I, I didn't know. So then they then be very traditional. You go see trotro, them are trotro self be different parts when I'm when I'm all big, them are be like konku. Then go pack them my body put inside. Them mm. more to the wear like traditional heavy, so heat. So it makes them smell that my body way and not really be if you be foreign, you go smell them, um, it not be pleasant, but for within them, I must be normal. The men have it, the women have it, general. Unless maybe somebody will, you know, they dress heavy like that. Somebody will be casual like we. We will go with the way long sleeve shirts and things. So, then see you, know, you say, no, you're not from here. Because mm-hmm. them more, they wear traditional. That'd be how it did. So, they were show the uh, Charlie. Mm-hmm. Salad there. So, me, the one lady, they, were, they show with the chop for them, with them at dessert. You have like cake, Maybe ice cream, you know, and they bit me deep. But the main too, then you know, I don't know if it's tough. Mm. So we go later that evening where we no job, we go to the place, the restaurants. We had a job, we argued, <laughs> we won. Ghanaians, we won because the them rather than this day, it was terrible. The famous job. Yeah, we won. Then then bring uh, uh, powdered yam. Powdered yam be like yam, the mash. Yeah. Then some uh, stew, bitch. Mm. Nah, they used to say them that they enjoy them, um, yeah. but we will not the feature. So they bring with their jollof with tier one, but then the meat was good. So be always the meat is the cavalry. So we just go order more meat than chop, then we just go bed. How, how would you describe Abuja? Abuja be like. I'm sure from where you went to, you yeah. could definitely see, you know, yeah. some stretch of yeah. the country. Abuja, Abuja be one thing I, I noticed before you get to Abuja, you could pass on some weird areas. Mm. So when we were going, I'm like, ah. the driver was like, oh, we are almost in Abuja. But you see the place that like some desert, I'm like, ah, we are in Abuja being this. And I was like, oh, now relax. I mean, mm. like you are yet to see Abuja. Yeah, still like rich castle, and now we can't enter crap. Mm, so, like, relax, relax. So, we passed some, check, check like, I don't know, it's like a portal. <laughs> like, we enter yeah. some portal, enter different zone. So, you see the way, um, you see the way Shai was, you know, Shai was like, eh, like Shai was crying to know. Yeah. You see mountains. Yeah, Kosumbo. Uh-huh. You see the um, Amazopek. Yeah. You see the way the township, yeah. the mountains, yeah. the road day inside, like very nice. That'd be our Abuja day. Ooh, okay. Very, very nice. Like mountains, roads, buildings. You see buildings on top of the mountains. The place they be. Mm. So Abuja dear, it'd be very, 100% like very, capital very, city where it's very, very, it's very, very, it's very, it needs to. I mean the DBs did there, so mm, mm. yeah. I mean I met a couple of DBs, so mm, interesting. Yes, yeah. that's, that's that's nice. So you know you're done with work, you know, few outing and all that. Time time is up. You're coming back to Ghana. Yeah, that's it. 
that's where uh, uh, that's, the trouble that's, that's where the trouble and that's where I want to so know what happened time we reach first of all we started, we started having issues from the hotel mm. we were supposed to leave it was a week so we went we got the Thursday evening so we were supposed to leave the following Thursday mm. or let's say Pata Pata Ka Friday mm. so that Thursday evening we checked out we didn't go now we I presented a book on a transport service now they call me say Oh, yeah, wow. Then pick people like, then for left we like, I think, eight spaces. But then they'll pick when they left like three. Well, we don't, we don't feel left go some. It doesn't make sense. Then we feel left there, five go there back. So we're like, okay, if so, they are, then we don't go again. But we already check out from the hotel too. Going back would be like extra cost. We you know, want our money. I mean, it'd be for the one our money cost. You know, we will pay. But it doesn't have to be your money. Yeah, but then we make the people were like, once we let them know we are checking out, that's, that's all. Okay. So I will check out. So now we now have to come back to the reception, call them that oh we couldn't go. So they have to play like a night for that place be like almost almost thousand five hundred dollars. That's like for them. So calling them for them to book the rooms for us again, stress. Crazy. Charlie up and down. So then as I turn about like not like seven seven p.m. there in the evening. Started calling them. Them they were very very busy. So if we started calling, we were like two hours later before we get them. <laughs> so around nine ten, we still did their way. Luckily enough, one guy, the Mawan, they pick up around ten p.m. Pick up the call. We say, oh, what's up? We reach. Like, he figure we do on the road. Yeah, so yeah. Say, oh, we reach. And I was like, no, no, you didn't pick both. So the transport company for me up. So he said, okay, so where we did? Yeah, well, we did the reception. The it's okay. They come. So he come where he go take one hour. Room we check out, you know. Luckily enough, if you check out before the key be cut, so key card, right? If we take show, there's some scanner be there, if we take show top, before you carry go down there. Mm. But we will not know, so we will not take show the scanner top, oh, we wow. just carry go. Oh, yeah. So you go take, you know, say we don't know. <laughs> so we go okay. take the card, where you climb, it be like, I 20 something floors, so it's a bit of good. Now we did talk there, pa. So we go to the top there, we go see, so okay, we don't take sure the scanner to we wait for, we see. We don't officially come. check out. Yeah, the calls don't come, so we go there, all our rooms still be open. If you check out that, automatically doors will lock. Oh, okay. So we go there, all the rooms will be open. Right now, we go inside, go, G1 attend, we sleep. So the following day, until like 5 a.m., we will move. Wow. So we move from Abuja, come Lagos. So this is what happened. Even in the morning, we would move, then still, the the transport people fuck up because they some so do overbooking for the for the car again so we for pick if if they for left with eight seats but they left seven wow with the seven you know out of the seven people will be like don't know be almost sure me and I fear so me I for stay back pick the fair ride cool yeah I'm like oh wait they don't worry oh I mean normal. They just were left earlier than me, but anyway, they will still meet yeah. the same place. So they left way, left me way, different car come pick me. So let's say the the cars all for meet for like Madina station. The cars all for meet for Madina station. But me and my ride decide can't stop for La Paz. Interesting. It about. So before we go, we go, as I said, uh, the road we did, or very kind of road. So I mean, the driver said, ah, he did go, I forget the name, but then they get the name for them. He did go that side, and when he said, oh no, he, he be different station car, he did come different place, I'll be like La Paz. So I said, okay, so I did go here, so how I will go? When he said, oh, if you drop me for the station, uh, I will feel pick taxi, go, mm. or like normal transport, go. But then one thing he will advise him to say, make, I don't make, I don't make anybody know, say, not be Nigeria. Hmm. But if Lagos are there at that time, wait, Becker, we go reach Lagos like almost 9 p.m. It's crazy. Becker too. So, make I just don't make anybody know, say, I don't be Nigeria. Make Obviously, I, once you, you speak. Yeah, we, you know the funny thing? My laptop, my cameras, everything, my tripod, all day, my body. See, hey, how do this? They are like, oh, you know, even this. So, then drop me for the station for La Paz. I started work. Like, <laughs> like, like, say you did, like, you actually did a pass where you did work yeah. to us, like, at your mother. So, say, I don't know, so I don't know anybody, I just, I just did work. So, the town, the name of the place I did go now, no, so I just did wait to make 
I try to be more dean and I mean, I mean, I don't know the key. So I go, let's see, I walk from the Pasa, crazy. Go reach like the uh, uh, station there. Mm. Go reach there, I should say some taxis. Then uh, another advice that give me say, if I want to pick taxi, uh, I cannot pick taxi with the driver, be young guy. Mm. Make a pick taxi with it, uh, like, depending on your old. That one, give it to you, but if I old man, I'm going to bring to my young man, way, maybe sometimes different level. So make a watch that thing too. That's okay. So, Oh, wow. <laughs> Charlie, I see some taxis for them, like five taxis. First one, young guy, second one, young guy, third one, old man. I put the third one, I feel like I approach it, man. I approach him. First thing I speak now, the guy say, I'm not a Nigerian. Eh? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to this place. First of all, the name I mentioned said, I don't mention them well, because uh, obviously, we don't yeah, 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 yeah. So I mentioned the name, we want my face, I'm uh, not a Nigerian. Eh? <laughs> I don't know what I would talk. Obviously. Say, oh, nah, I come some program where I promise my people for the, the town name I mentioned. You know, then they wait me for there, but I don't know how for them. I can pick taxi. So maybe so I get them a number. And I, so I guess, but I don't get an Nigerian SIM card. I'm a Ghana SIM card again. They say, oh, you're Ghanaian. They say, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we, we make a, a mention the number, give me where he call them. Mm. So he call them, where they tell them, say, oh, then they, they, they wait me. So make it carry me come. It's okay, cool. So. Make I put my things for the the, the taxi set. You be like them old taxi set. Yeah. Yeah. You open the back seat. So you make I put my things for them. We say make I tap inside for front. We basically say I get like phone from my body and uh, so yeah. And the hold that now the hold on iPhone then the Samsung. Say it beg me. If we do reach police checkpoint, uh, make I not remove my phone. And yes, sir, uh, then we give me keys. Because of the year we are with it. Yeah. First of all, me and the walk around with laptop and cameras and things if it be offense at that time. So that's why it make me put for the seat under. So if I get no matter who they call me at that time, make a note pick up, maybe just cross way from like from that side to where I'm holding. Wow. It'd be like we did we cross like ten borders, not borders, like checkpoints yeah. before we reach there. See, hey. Say we cannot make cannot make them. You know, say I get phone. So we cross wow. first, first border. Th- where the third border, the third um, checkpoint. Mm. The guy watch me say, they stop me. So where will they go? Where they never mention the town and name. Of so okay, what's up for them? Oh, I mean, if they take me go there, they go pick cargo. They mention some shit to be for Nigeria. Then now uh, it's okay. So I will really, say make we move. We move now. We say no make we stop. I don't look like that. I don't look like a Nigerian. 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 I don't look like Watch the card, watch my face. They are lucky I can hear. Yeah. They carry me. Wow. That's the statement. They are lucky I can hear. Yeah. They carry it. They cannot carry me. That be like the same thing that happened for like the next three checkpoints. Then my horses are going to be Nigerian. Where are you from? Ghana. Let me see your Ghana card. They are lucky I can hear. Yeah. And I make it go. The last checkpoint where I get called. The people say, well, now we keep for road. Mm. If we chop like 30 minutes for road, but now we chop like one hour. It's not mm. like 10 still do it. So then they make worried. Where well, if somebody will call you before the call will come, say, but are they, are they good roaming? I know mm-hmm. they use Nigerian, like you can have it now. So before somebody will call you, forget credit. So be like, you they gonna do pay for me. So if the person call you, when the call come through, right, it means that you get credit. You get credit. So they, they will tell you your credit, then the person will credit at the same time. That will have in the work. So before they call me, when you come, then since I don't get credit, so then send me like 30 students credit with a call. Before they get me, so ah, we did the last checkpoint. Call me back, me captain is still call me back. Mm. Then call a hang up and then call back. So God, if you are say something, so they, me hanging up, so I'm afraid. We the last checkpoint. Now like the police is at the call. I did the phone, the iPhone. Hey, I was say you know this thing is serious. Crazy. Like, oh, hey, come on, come on, come on. Why are you from? You are who boy? They may never 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 come out tell and say he's not Nigerian. He's a Ghanaian. He's going back home. Say so, yeah. I got you from. So, I can see your Ghana card. And she show up. So, okay. But I make lucky. 
Wow. Mm. So basically, it means one advantage for a Ghanaian to be yeah so i think that day when we go to um lagos i got internet and i posted that posted on my stats that ghana card really no matter outside i don't uh, well i wouldn't say the ghana card but then perhaps with the whole Ghanaian nigerian you know yeah. being neighbors and a whole bunch and you know, i feel they tend to treat you kind of like you know normal yeah, or maybe yeah. they, they see you well yeah. than i guess true from the other countries because from what you're saying there is no way a policeman will just be like you're lucky you can hear true so when we if we it got to after the last checkpoints then we will pass through some some small village mm. before we will enter the main road go the station the the bearer told me say this place they can't pass even if he did six months day the road Welcome because then they should not make it this play for the road, then you slow down, then we'll jack you up. Wow! So, if even if you did it, you will work out. So, if I see something like that, I think I just don't fear, maybe I just cool down, look cool. I'm like, hey, what is this they have for here? Yeah. So, that road, there, yeah, no, there's small speed. You remove and you see me road. So, then as we enter the mirror, I kind of place it okay, yeah. like this will be passed up. Before we pass, we go and go and reach the station. Like almost eleven, then my people all make worry. They say, "Hey, hey Nigeria is some crazy I town." Mean, they say, "Hey, so I can't start the explain show them when they say, hey, then they make sorry say they left me." Yeah. So I mean, it was an experience. Yeah. So I'll be cool. For me, I don't know how, how I was gonna be like. Cause like <laughs> Charlie, you crazy. I, like imagine you already my my bag, my laptop, my cameras, everything thing inside there. That's walk, Nigeria is more like the whole country is more like well, I wouldn't say the whole country, but then no, obvi- like Lagos obviously, like, yeah, Lagos. Lagos, Lagos uh, be like, <laughs> see, I drove for the station there, I drove for kind of like they say, we cannot stand there more than five minutes. Like, make I just move, like, I know where to go, but I don't know where I go. I drop, see, shoot, shoot, shoot. even as I did at 9 p.m., I drop. Everywhere we put, we go for a day. Like, we at least, maybe we are up and down. Hey, like, Lagos be like something else. Crazy. I'm like, yo, this, the next time I get the job in Nigeria, I'm not going wow. back. Hey, finally, so you meet up with your friends. I, met up with my, I told them what happened, and then they are, I mean, we all love the what's yeah. then. Another thing, we reached the Lagos there, then give we, I don't know, we're not the whole day, mm. so then give we money, say, let me find something to give everybody thousand thousand naira mm. I'm like ah thousand naira the people that did the station they're like hey you go thousand naira you get money you get money <laughs> but i go google go search thousand naira be 17 cities i'm like ah okay. 17 cities by they say oh make a fear we walk go check republic for the station then uh could you imagine we bought chicken republic jollof and chicken like two big chickens we bought um drink water and give you change 300 naira. <laughs> <laughs> so if this is it, then it means he bought um, 700 cities worth of 700 naira worth of food. 700 naira worth of food and drinks drink and, and water. water. Then we have 300 naira change. So like, the thousand naira is 17 cities. 700 naira will be like crazy. Will be like 12 cities or so. Yeah. So we take 12 cities by chicken and public drink and water. We buy the water, everything we chop finish. That was like around twelve, almost one a.m. Mm. So then we for relax, make the car come, car come seven again, seven a.m. again. Mm. That one too. We did the station there, so nobody feel bad. We did the so we had the chain. The car come, come pick we back. Now the journey back. I mean, as we the go, then be night time, so we mm. don't really see a lot of things. Yeah. So, and then we we the go back daytime, so. Mm-hmm. From from Lagos to like the Nigerian border, hey, like Nigeria be some some <laughs> general <laughs> slum. Hey, mm-hmm. see, I go to say aside Abuja, maybe Port Harcourt then the mm-hmm. other rich areas, cool. But Lagos be like some choco. Mm-hmm. Hey, no. So we pass through all these people. That's why I understand why then lights no day. Cause we like them people we you do more lights, crying and fire. Because we go, we go Abuja, 
the whole one week, no light out. So how come, I mean, people they complain about light, and then Abuja, no light out. But Lagos, with the comebacks, eh? people they come, people generate that boo, 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 everywhere. But Abuja, who oh, generate a full BBR? Yeah. So then people that they talk say, oh, when are Lagos, it be like it be some areas where they break power, because Abuja, yeah. they are not hear one generator sound. Uh, 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 maybe uh, Abuja, we can call, even though we are saying it's more like a chocolate, perhaps we can also call it Lagos, rather, we can call it more like an equal capital. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. have more people yeah. living there. The population obviously might, might be really, really high. Yeah. So, I mean, we, 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 when we, we cross the Nigerian border, I want to, you go, I go settle, you come back, I go settle all day mm-hmm. or transport inside. So, they do the settlements, we cross Nigeria border, we enter Benin. That was to say, yo, Benin be like. In the evening, it burning the bee because of the light, the motor, yeah. but daytime. No, Benin be like so. <laughs> hey, I like, think, I think, I think, I'll, 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 I've never been there before, but I'll just say, you know, for We actually of, stopped that Benin to, I mean, do a few things, walk around, but yeah. uh, Benin so, be like, at a braca. <laughs> yeah, but you know, for, I'd say for most of these border towns, I don't, I don't think I've really, really yeah. seen any. So go be like prom prom and get flag. Wow. So I mean, it's <laughs> a prom prom with flag. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better for that. Yeah. So I mean, finally land home sweet. Finally we we uh, yeah we enter. I mean we enter. So from so we don't get Nigerian yeah. same from the whole journey. If you know be the station there and give you Wi Fi like the whole journey yeah, no whole internet. Journey, so yeah. we enter. We reach the Togo border. I mean, you, it's it's so interesting. You enter the Togo border now nah, network That's come cool. then. Messages started load and uh, telling that that was the, the day I posted that kind of card, blah blah blah. And yeah, people were replying, yeah. ah, then they didn't see, then they see you. Oh, ah. Started reply everybody, I mean, back into the country, safe, everything. I tell my body, say, me, Nigeria, car, I'm poor, I'm done. How, how would you rate the whole journey? I'd say, like I always say, it was an experience yeah. and I, I learned a lot. Mm. So, rating is less than out of 10. Like five or four. That's the journey on it. That's the journey. So, so, with the little time you spent in Nigeria, how would you rate the, the country? Uh, with the little time I spent in Abuja, I would give, I would give it like an eight. Mm. Yeah, mm. but if like the little time I spent in Lagos, that was like two. <laughs> anyway, two. guys. So I mean, huh. my man but, here. I mean, they they had a lot of, like when we sneaked out to go out. Yeah, we had a lot of experiences we had like i we went to do the fireball yeah. and thing. i mean we did a lot of and we met like i said we met like baby people one girl i met i mean nice thing yeah, yeah. nice thing there <laughs> anyway guys so my man was here to share with us his trip i'd actually love to go to nigeria because i've seen some yeah cool but don't places, go by don't go by car cool places that you know for somebody that likes to travel i just want to experience these places and then you know nigeria and then, and then the rest so I'm, I'm really happy i mean somebody close has gone so it feels like i've been there before <laughs> what, i still want to be there and experience things like that. So this has been let's chat so, <laughs> taking us back to my olden days let's chat yo big shots <laughs> big shots <laughs> olden days man this has been just us yeah and um i am jj as usual i had you with me ralph yeah see, see you guys same time next week on the next episode of our interview well, we, it might be an interview, it might be, you know, the full house. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. ciao bye bye.